HDP is proud to introduce the new Superstore Pro water heater, the SSP models. Uh, we are always looking to advance our technology and improve on design. Superstore has been uh, per, is one of the most leading uh, recognized brands in the U.S. in indirect fired water heating. And uh, through our engineering department and through some advances, we've designed this new SSP Superstore Pro that really is advanced. The features and benefits of this product, the aesthetics of this product, really shine in the marketplace and even take us to the next level when it comes to indirect fired water heaters. So let's take a look at some of the features and benefits of the Superstore Pro and I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is one of the most outstanding products in the industry today. First thing about the Superstore Pro is obviously its new appearance. Uh, the appearance of the Superstore Pro is you see the rounded edges, nice caps, the aesthetic, the stainless steel, attractive uh, looking outer casement, the heat exchanger ports being right up in the front, the control, uh, the control being right into the front of the heater, and then all the ports being out of the top and even the pressure and temperature relief port being out of the top. It really improves not only the look of the product, but it also helps the contractor put them in tight spots and uh, really gives them good accessibility uh, when it comes to tight mechanical rooms. Looking at the Superstore Pro, one of the major features of the system is we have top connects. These are 8 inch centers, which is pretty standard in the industry. This is our cold water inlet with this little blue dip tube and then our hot water outlet. And then we have in the back here, we have an auxiliary port, which I'll show you how that works. And then the TMP, which is uh, up on the top, which is also an added benefit. And then your uh, connection to your control. So the first thing I want to point out is on the cold water inlet, we have a dip tube. And the dip tube is designed to bring cold water. It basically has cold water that travels all the way down this pipe and then goes through these perforations and what that does is control where we deliver the cold water around the heat exchanger to really increase the overall efficiency of the design. Um, if we just allow water to come down and have an open-ended tube, it really wouldn't improve the uh, efficiencies of the heat exchanger. We want to get water moving around that heat exchanger. We want to increase the heat transfer capability. So the cold water dip tube really provides that and it's capped on the end here uh, just to kind of show you how it actually works. So that's the cold water inlet. Even when you look at that, something as simple as that, there is some design features that can really help the overall efficiency of the system. So that just drops right in there. Your hot water outlet is basically right on the top here. Um, it just draws hot water out of the very top of the tank, gives you really good draw capability. So you're really uh, uh, drawing pretty much the whole volume of the tank. Another added benefit is this TMP. As you can see here, I don't have this really piped in, but it's just to kind of illustrate, a lot of times when you get into tight spots where you have drains, the drain might be on the left-hand side of the water heater, might be on the right-hand side of the water heater, you might have it in a pan. There could be a number of different circumstances that occur. So it's really neat to have the TMP on the top because I can position this in every any way I want around the tank, 360 degrees, to run my drip leg in an area where it's convenient and close to a drain. And that's really important. And plus the access is very nice being on the top. So just showing you that the TMP, which is uh, located now on the top, is a real benefit instead of having a fixed point on the water heater. Another thing that we've done and a real important point is we've got this third connection here. This third connection has been added because one of the problems we see in indirect fire water heating and what's happening in a lot of homes, they're putting recirc lines. What a recirc line does is it basically it's a, it has a pump and the pump basically circulates water from all the connection points you would have where you use hot water in order to make sure when you turn on the tap that you have hot water instantly. A lot of long runs in houses that they don't have recirc lines, it takes a long time for the house to, uh, to get hot water to the delivered points. Um, you're seeing more and more uh, regulation where they're going to require things because the amount of water consumption and the, the usage of water is cut down dramatically when you have hot water instantly at a tap. So what that does to an indirect fired water heater is normally if I didn't have this port, I'd be connecting my recirc line back here. And the recirc line is basically taking the heated water out of the hot water outlet and it's recircing it back, back to the water heater, it's cold feed. And what it's doing is it's just making sure when you turn on a tap that you have hot water at every point. 
Um, and the problem with that is, is that when this, when we bring hot water back to the fr back to the inlet side of the tank, we're heating the whole tank up. The whole key to an indirect fired water heater and the heat exchanger is that if you have a greater temperature difference, a colder pocket of water around that heat exchanger, the more efficient it's going to be for the boiler, uh, the connected boiler. We're going to basically transfer energy a lot quicker. So. By what we're doing with this auxiliary port is we're not wiping the whole tank. We're not bringing the heated water to the very bottom, affecting the heat transfer capability of that heat exchanger. And short cycling, you'll get a lot of short cycling with recirc lines, especially in older homes where the lines are not insulated and they're running the pump continuously. And it consumes a lot of energy and it makes the boiler inefficient and the whole system inefficient. So by adding this little dip tube here, all we're doing, as you can see, is we kind of mimicked what we did here on the cold. We've capped it, we've got a diffuser tube, but all we're doing now is we're circulating the water just at the top of the tank. So what happens is the, as we start to run the, the, the water through this tube, back from the furthest point of the domestic connection to the different uh, points that you need hot water, we're only basically, we're, what we're starting to do is we're taking that energy just out of the top of the tank. And what we're doing is we're setting up better transfer or lower temperatures on the bottom. And we're, we're eliminating the control from coming on and on, on and off, because the control will have a, a fixed set point that you will set for a desired temperature. And when it sees the temperature drop seven to 10 degrees, it's gonna fire the unit. The longer we can draw water by, uh, through the system in a recirc line and still maintain the hot water that the customer wants at the, at the fixtures, and minimize the amount of cycling really adds a lot of benefit to the design. So this auxiliary tube does that and uh, gets another connection port for the contractor and it really controls how the water flows through this uh, tank which makes a big significant difference in the overall performance annually. So this uh, little dip tube, this auxiliary port for a recirc line is pretty significant uh, added design and will add about 5% efficiency to your overall system efficiencies long term if you do have a recirc line. Uh, last but not least, we have our control connections here. We pre-wire it down to the surface mount thermostat. Um, it's on the top, which makes it easy to wire, keeps it out of uh, any wires that goes down the side of the tank, makes the tank look, uh, it looks up for a more professional installation. And it's really easy to wire up uh, to the control. So um, this added benefit of having these top connects, uh, the auxiliary ports, the TMP uh, location, really makes Superstore a winner for uh, uh, piping, eliminates a lot of complication in jobs, and really makes it uh, easier to fit them in real tight locations. That happens in, in frequently in certain jobs. So I'm sure you'll be pleased with it. One of the main features of the Superstore Pro is the, the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is the heart of the unit. It's what transfers the energy from the boiler water or from whatever source you have uh, creating heated water through this heat exchanger and then transfers that energy into the domestic water. This heat exchanger has been designed to rapidly transfer that energy. Um, we can operate at temperatures. Most uh, units will operate at 180 degree inlet water uh, from the hydronic boiler through this heat exchanger and then transfer the energy from the boiler loop to the domestic loop. Uh, this unit can also run as low as 140 degrees, which is a huge benefit for the condensing uh, boilers that are out there and other sources where it can transfer that energy and still give you large amount of domestic hot water. Um, one of the beautiful parts about this heat exchanger, as you can see, is, is that it's a very large diameter, so it has very, very low pressure drop. Um, so it doesn't require very large pumps, expensive pumps, to be connected up to the unit. Uh, it has very low pressure drop. These convolutions give us extra surface, give us extra heat transfer capability. Also allow the heat exchanger to expand and contract versus prime surface heat exchangers that you see in other tanks. So there's a lot of surface area in here, a lot of power with this heat exchanger. The connections are one inch female connections, both on the supply and return to your heat source. Um, and the unit is basically a helical coil design uh, this, this coil has so much heat transfer capability, when connected up to the correct boiler, uh, you'll see that it'll actually recover a tank in less than 10 minutes time. 
So that's a very quick recovery where if you're taking multiple showers or using a lot of hot water, the recovery of this is very, very significant. And that's in a 50 gallon tank, 60, you know, just about every size that we offer. Um, these heat exchangers come in two different sizes. The heat exchanger that I have here is used on the 30 gallon all the way to the 60 gallon. And then we have a much larger coil that goes into the 80 and 115 gallon. Again, the heart of the design always is with the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is the, is the main part of transferring the energy and the efficiency of a system. And this heat exchanger is, is the best in the industry. Uh, it's constructed out of 316L, has very high recovery, low pressure drop, and I'm sure you'll be very pleased with its performance with the Superstore Pro. take a look at the Superstore Pro uh, connections. Uh, you'll notice the first thing you notice is when you get your Superstore Pro, you notice that your boiler connections are right in front. It makes it easy to either go left or right. Uh, if you got a tight area, uh, closets, it makes it easy for it to plumb. Uh, so uh, you can bring your boiler loop or your connections right from the side, bring them right in. Uh, so even in these tight areas, you're going to see that the connections being right in the front are going to make a, a big difference in your jobs. We also are providing a drain valve, a four-port drain valve to drain the entire tank of, uh, of water. If you uh, have a summer, you know, if you have a home which is unoccupied or a lake home or thing of, th of that nature and you need to drain, we have this drain valve here. Also for servicing, this is a full-port drain valve. If you ever need to put uh, or service the heater, uh, this is an easy way to drain the uh, system long term. Also, the control here, we have our surface mount control uh, that allows for adjustment of temperature. Um, the surface mount control is easy to get to. You just take these screws on the cover off and there's a dial there where you can adjust your temperatures uh, for various uh, desired comfort uh, for uh, hot water supply. It's, a, it's located in a particular area to give very quick response, a very accurate temperature uh, control over the tank and uh, it doesn't need a, uh, the surface mount provides an added benefit that there's not another connection port or threaded connection port that could potentially leak over, you know, 10, 15 years of service. Uh, it's actually surface mount, so there's no tappings or other things that can potentially cause problems. So that's a benefit. The main features of the Superstore Pro is the tank itself. The tank itself is constructed of 316L stainless steel. It's a very high grade uh, stainless steel that will give you corrosion resistance for many years on any installation. We have a very strong warranty backing this heater and with that 316L stainless steel is very significant in the life expectancy of the heater. Most traditional units have steel with a porcelain enamel coating on them that will fail over time. They use anodes to protect the steel long term inside the tanks. With the stainless steel tank, that's not required. There's no anodes, there's no smell, there's no issues related to uh, uh, some of the things you would have with conventional type of tanks. So the 316L stainless steel is really the heart of the longevity of this system uh, as far as water heater goes. And uh, it's backed by one of the industry's best warranties out there. So you'll see that the construction of the system and the design of our systems being that 316L is very, very important. One of the, uh, the last things I want to go over is on the Superstore Pro is really not only its appearance uh, with, the, with the design of the system, as you can see, it's got a real nice stainless steel outer uh, appearance of its jacket, uh, but also we have plastic heads on both the top and the bottom. So one of the things you'll see with traditional water heaters or steel base uh, jacketing systems is they'll rot from the bottom up. With the plastic, that won't happen. Um, so the plastic heads not only provide corrosion resistance, but they also provide a nice aesthetic look. We have these nice rounded edges, which give it a very high end, high quality look. With the stainless steel appearance of our, our metal jacket, it looks really, really nice um, as far as the heater's, uh, the heater's design. Another thing that we have and the thing that we really uh, strive for is to provide the best insulation quality uh, of the heater. The most important part of any storage type water heater is the amount of insulation in this unit. Uh, we have three inches on top, three, two inches on the side. Our R value is the highest in the industry. 
Um, we go to great lengths to make sure that the quality of the foam being poured around the device and the amount of foam and the consistency of the foam is there every day in our production of our water heaters. Um, and the product really proves that out. I mean, you can run these heaters, put heated water up to 180 degrees inside the tank, and then you just, the proof is in the pudding. You basically put your hand on the outside and it's cool to the touch. So this is a big thermos and basically we have all the energy captured in here and very little gets out. Uh, traditional water heaters, they have center flues, they have a lot of heat loss in these. These indirect fire water heaters have no combustion in them. They're relying on another source to provide that energy to the tank. We, increase, we heat the water very rapidly and we store the energy in these indirect fire water heaters. The most efficient way to do it in the industry compared to other conventional systems that you might choose uh, to put in your home. So I think you'll be really pleased with the Superstore Pro. It is on the, you know, as far as indirect fire water heater go, goes, it's the best in class. It's the best out there. So uh, on your next job, please give us a try and I think you'll be pleasantly pleased with its performance and uh, the way the unit operates long term.